The wonder of using it to stop a train. The joy of feeling it on your hand as you butt slide to freedom. Friction is science talk for stuff rubbing up against each other. And friction hates you. While you're busy using friction to violate a tree, friction was busy burning people. Between 1992 and 2006, static electricity caused by friction resulted in 170 gas station fires. 78% of the victims in these fires were women. I don't know what that says about women drivers or friction. Sometimes facts are just facts. Like the fact that unless you're floating in gas, you can literally do nothing without friction. You can't jump, you can't land, you can't hold things, you can't get first degree carpet burns or whiplash or cooties. Friction as at the heart of every single scrape, cut, and Indian burn you have ever gotten because friction is the force resisting the relative motion of solid surfaces like rock or fluid layers like lava. And at any given moment, friction is the only thing between you and pools of burning hot underground magma until, of course, the force becomes too much. Then friction lets magma shoot out of the earth like a fire hose of death and destruction. Other things caused by friction, earthquakes, bad kisses, chalkboard noises. So you better start oiling up now because friction's out and it is not frictioning around. I know, friction is like 90% of sex. Please share this with your friends on Facebook. It'll help the show. But friction can also be the cause of bad sex. Go to lumosity.com slash NHY to sign up for Lumosity. It's brain games. And friction can cause warmth. Watch our other show, Truth or Cats. He takes real facts and turns them into fake animal conspiracy theories. But too much friction can cause fire. What I'm saying is bad friction fire sex is a possibility, and it happened to my buddy Johnny Hunka and his wife. They called it Hunka Hunka Burning Love. It killed them. Subscriber down.